Welcome back. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, um, by probably about 30 seconds, but only because I'm going to show you two different ways to do one thing, because it's a very important thing, and it's backing up. Okay, so the one way to back up is from the settings here. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, so to speak, and get into the actual um, folders, um, you just back everything up. And then you have to make sure that all of the projects are closed. So you'd have to close that down and then click yes. Now, I'm not going to do that. And then you ha you can't touch Browsio until it's done backing up. Uh, you can't have any projects open, nothing. Everything has to be closed until you're done backing up. And it's the same thing whether you're doing it this way via Browsio or whether or not you're actually doing it um, t just via what I'm about to show you, the back end. Um, so the whole process, whenever you're backing up, you mustn't touch anything. It's going to be a real pain when you come to the end and you're going to get an error because a project was open and it wasn't able to read it. So just keep it closed, set aside between five and 25 minutes, depending on how much data you've got. I've got about a thousand accounts in this um, version of my Browsio and it takes up about 10 gig of space on my hard drive and that's included all of the cookies and cash and so on and I haven't cleaned it out in yonks in six seven months right so it's geo cleaning I know I could bring it down to three four gig um, but I'm not going through all of that right now and it's not really bothering me I've got terabytes of space so it's totally fine by me um, I'll get to it if it ever starts to make my browser lag which it shouldn't but anyway um, so that's how to do it very quickly you've got back up everything and then the file that you've backed up, you need to import. So you import, are you sure? And again, this is going to override any projects containing the same names, right? So that means that whatever you've got in here, it's got to be closed and that whatever data you've got, it's going to overwrite. So if you've got new folders in here, um, it's not going to delete them. It'll keep them as is. It will only overwrite data. So if you've got a newer project and you're going to import the entire um, um, the entire file that you've saved, it's going to overwrite them and it'll probably roll you back to whatever stage you were when you had that backup. But it shouldn't really make much of a difference. We're talking about cookies, cache, and you know history and that kind of thing. So we're not going to do any of that now. Now, if you want to go into the actual file system and do a manual backup, which I like to do a lot, especially since my... my, my, my um, um, file, my debt backup is so large, um, go into the PC, and you go into Windows, C, then you go into your users, and then whatever whoever you're, you are, you go into your name, and then there'll be a, probably the chance that the app data folder, like over here, is not showing, and you can right-click, share, view, and do all of that stuff, and show the folder, but I don't like to do that, because I like to keep, because it just shows up a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't want to show in other folders. So what I do is just click on the top, you saw what I did there, you just click on here like a browser, and you forward slash, and do app data, and this is a hidden folder, so if you type it in, it'll just go straight to it. If you do right click, if you view and, and show hidden folders, um, wherever that is, hidden items, show or hide, then you'll get the same results. But I don't like to do that every time. It's, it's just an extra step for me. And then local. Click on local. And then you go down here to the um, raw social organizer. And then you control all, right click, and then use whatever zipping archiving system you're going to want to use. Um, compress, whatever. And then take that folder and go and save it somewhere. And that's it. That's how you do a manual backup.